Just think, if our little children were like little squirrels in a calm forest filled with whispers of wisdom and secrets. When you imagine that wonderful forest, then you might see the curious little squirrel named Timmy. While Timmy worked hard like the other squirrels, who were busy gathering nuts, Timmy became fascinated by the fluttering butterflies and the chirping birds. He started to wonder about the magic of choice. One day, Timmy met an old wise owl named Ollie, who saw his curiosity and decided to teach him about the great power of choice. Ollie explained that every creature in the forest, from the tiniest ant to the tallest giraffe, had something called agency, a special kind of magic that allowed them to make choices according to their kind of magic on their special place, on a spectrum of conscious magic. But what is the use of this magic if we don't use it wisely or try to use other creatures' magic? Ollie asked, his deep eyes twinkling under the moonlight. You see, Timmy, some creatures think that they are just like the rocks by the, the river, tossed around by the water without any say, or they simply use the magic that belongs to creatures with a, another kind of agency magic than their own kind of magic, not knowing what that magic will do. They don't understand the power of the special choices they hold within them. By choosing to be conscious about your choices, you see, when we focus on gathering nuts just because others do, without thinking, we are choosing without knowing, like following a path into the thorns. Or if all squirrels try to use their special magic like ants do, then those small ant choices suddenly become too big when the squirrels try to use the ant magic. That kind of misplaced magic can destroy the forest. Timmy then also thought about the ants working together, each making small decisions that benefited their entire colony. He realized that they were using their own special kind of agency to create a better life for themselves without harming the forest. Timmy felt a new sense of responsibility and wonder. He understood that his choices could shape not only his life, but also impact the forest and all its inhabitants. Thank you, Ollie, Timmy said, his eyes bright with determination. I will use my magic wisely and help others see theirs too. As Timmy scampered away, filled with new insights, Ollie watched on, a silent guardian of the age-old wisdom of the forest. And so, Timmy learned to use his choices to build a better forest, helping others realize their own power of agency, just as Ollie had taught him. He knew now that even the smallest choice could change the world. Dear parents, the enchanting story of Timmy and his exploration of the magic of agency offers us a moment of reflection on the critical choices we face today. This story is inspired by my book, The Science of Agency. This tale serves as a potent reminder of the consequences when we neglect the full spectrum of our consciousness and channel our human agency towards a purely mechanistic worldview. Historically, such a narrow focus has led to significant ethical, social, and psychological dilemmas, from diminishing our sense of personal accountability to fostering societal structures that underappreciate the dignity and autonomy of individuals. This mechanistic view, while advancing certain technological achievements, has often overlooked the profound interconnectedness and moral responsibilities that define our humanity, far more so than any struggle for survival. As we encourage our children to recognize and harness their agency, 
it's crucial that we also teach them the lessons learned from past missteps. By understanding the dangers of a purely materialistic perspective, we can guide them towards making choices that not only consider the immediate benefits, but also the long-term impacts on human dignity. And within an ecology of communities, each with the most unique and most loved kinds of agency. We might find the sanctifying love communities that will show our children how to guard against those who implement their agency as mechanistic utility optimizers. Let's use this understanding to inspire a future where our children use their agency to build a more thoughtful, deliberate and balanced world. Delving deeper into intricate ideas in the science of agency can provide you with the tools to cultivate a comprehensive appreciation of these dynamics, ensuring that our choices are informed by both the lessons of the past and the possibilities for a more conscious future. With this knowledge, we can empower the next generation to choose wisely, respecting the profound impact of their decisions on both their lives and the broader community. Warm regards. Links to my book, The Science of Agency, can be found in the description below.